a solar system is based on solar panels, which I'm sure you all are aware of, also known as modules that produce power. Each module has an optimal working point as illustrated in the graph, the PMPP, which is max power point. So um, the problem is under various conditions, they can affect that, that actual point. Could be internal like modules properties or external like the environment conditions such as temperature and irradiance. So traditional systems based on a single inverter connected to solar panels that are connected to each other in series have significant limitations. Why? Uh, each module has its own optimal working point, as you can see in the illustration here. If you only remember one thing from today's presentation, remember that module mismatch means you're losing money. Since the modules are connected in series, the weakest module will drag all of the others down to it. They will have to produce power according to its working point, which is lower than theirs. The analogy we like to use is if you think of four kids running, these four kids are holding hands. The first one's two-year-old, second is fourth, second is, or third is six-year-old and eight-year-old. As they're running together, they can only run as fast as that two-year-old. So that's the problem with module mismatch. What else can cause module mismatch? Many reasons. Um, some can, can't even be seen like micro cracks. Some are very visible like shading. Some can be expected like obstacles on the roof. Some can, cannot like dirt and bird soiling. Some are permanent like the damage of the module and some are transient like cloud shading. Some are relevant from day one, different orientations, and some will be developed in time like differing aging rates. Even if the modules are from the same batch delivered together, there will still be mismatch. It's just because nothing's perfect in this world. So how do you mitigate module mismatch? SolarEdge's approach is to split the functionality of a traditional inverter to smart electronics attached to every module called power optimizers, which maximize the power generation per solar panel, and a smart inverter that takes care of the conversion of power from DC to AC. The smart electronics on the module turns them into smart modules, which they can then communicate their production so users can benefit from module level, module level monitoring. So let's start from the result. When modules, when each module can work at its own optimal working point and does not affect every other one, every module will produce its maximum power. In this example, as I described before, with a traditional system in series, all of the kids running together, holding hands, they're going to operate at the lowest of all of the devices. While with the module level optimization, only the shaded module will be affected and all of the other ones will keep producing 100% of what they can. We call this maximum power point tracking or MPPT. Additionally, another benefit is design flexibility. With traditional systems, different orientations are avoided to eliminate intentional mismatch. But with the module level or optimization, since the modules are independent, the layout can be in different tilts and orientation. Plus there's an added benefit of safety. Since there are now power electronics on the module level, the modules can be disconnected if needed. Sun can never be turned off. And in case there's a fire in the building, not related to the solar system, firefighters may be reluctant to go onto the roof, potentially causing a complete loss of the building. Even if they are able to shut off the inverter, there's still voltage in the cable at all times. However, in solar edges modular system, they can be de-energized to a safe DC level. To summarize the benefits of the module level optimization, higher revenue, since there's no module mismatch, um, each module produces its maximum potential. There's also lower expenses because the entire system is more flexible, less cabling connections. And also with module level monitoring, issues can be easily identified through remote monitoring, allowing for performance analysis and potential root cause analysis and problem modules. Imagine a solar field with direct point-to-point -point accuracy. And finally, the modular system solution is much safer. So not all modular systems are created alike. 